there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you were here. Today we were talking uh, no Kimmy, no Marie Scott, no problem. Uh, that is right. They're missing yet again from an episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville tonight, you guys. And we've got to talk about it. What is the reason? Or is the reason that there is no storyline until the threats of the lawsuit, you guys? Is that going to be the big, you know, re-re-re-introduction -re -re of Kimmy and and Maurice, aka Scott's 2.0, you guys. But this just shows Carlos King's quote unquote fresh storylines. It is nothing more than throwing everything together and against the wall and seeing what sticks. And basically, they're saying that they don't have any footage. They don't have any material to use until the second half of the season when Maurice has his DUI arrest and also when Owen, allegedly, is added to the class action countersuit against you and the network, you guys. Make it make sense? But again, so so is this, I, I, I'm just trying to understand uh, how quickly it was to remove Maurice from this show for less but Martel continues to show up in our faces, you guys, continues to be employed by the show, you guys, continues to make a mockery of himself and read the lines that he alleges production gives him because he calls the show fake and that everybody are actors. Make it make sense? But the ultimate acting job was nowhere to be found tonight on the episode. So again, was all of this worth it? Was the threats to people worth it? Was making Mel and the Melometers your storyline this season worth it? Did Carlos King really hype y'all up in a secret group chat that this was going to break records? That this was going to kick Mel off the show for good? That this was going to ruin Mel's legacy and ruin Mel on the show? This was going to be your big grand plan? Only for it to flop. Only for it to get the lowest ratings ever. And, and now you're sending out your dogs, your 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 animals, your 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 uh you know people to really go hard in the paint and really try to sell the fakery of the show this season. And, and you've got your you're sending in the reinforcements to use their platforms to promote your faves in hopes that they can turn the tide and, and convince the people that this season is worth watching, that this is the best season, although it is getting the worst ratings ever. Please don't believe that foolery about the 3.7 million linear L3 ratings in the point nine demo that has nowhere in any of the Nielsen ratings that I've seen for the cable ratings. Nowhere! On TV Deets, who oppose the correct ratings every single week for the cable TV shows and all of the things, you guys. But this is what you wanted. This was the energy that you wanted, you guys. You wanted the smoke. You wanted to threaten people. You wanted to, you know, get on your big platforms, get on your big Instagram and cause all this division, cause all this chaos. And now you're missing and now you're running with a tail between your legs. And now you're still trying to find a way to blame Mel and Melometers for your actions, for your behavior, for your intimidation tactics, and all of the things, you boys. But nonetheless, uh, you know, where, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Because there's a lot more people, Carlos, that do not need to be on the show. Like, 90% of the, right? like, like everybody, right? Because nobody's bringing anything. If you brought a storyline, that's one thing. But if you're literally just going to sit on camera and complain about Mel and complain about the Melometers, you're no different th than the haters. You're no different than Mel's ops in real life. And, and Mel's internet trolls in real life. W what's the difference? Why are you getting an alleged 2500 an episode for, for to, to do the same things that people are doing for free on the internet? And, and in those Facebook groups and everything else, why? 
make it make sense so there is that let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post new content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon